Hi, today we are going to learn how to find users and reset their passwords and how to create uh, groups. First, I'm going to click on tools and then active directory users and computers. And if you really know where the user is located, then you can simply go to that domain. Like I know it's in ictlab.com, so I'm going to click on that and then I know that the user is in testing OU so I'm gonna click on that and here is my domain user OU if I click on that I can I can find my users in there but if you have hundreds and thousands of users and it's really hard to find it then you can simply go and click and search one and then you can choose options from here if you want to find computers click on computers printers click in printers if you want to find any share folder click on share folder but right now I'm going to find users so I'm gonna click on users contact and group and going to type my users name you can type if you know both last name and first name you can type both but right now I just know the first name so I going to i type first name and then click on find now so in that way you, you will get to know the users but if you really need to find their a path then what you need to do is just i'm going to click close this one and then click on views views and then click on advanced features and then go back to search again and then again type the users that you want to find find now and then click on that users right click on that one and click on properties and you can click on objects so in that way you get to find the path so it's inside the ICT lab domain to testing OU and inside domain users and you can find Lily is there so now I'm going to close all these things now let's see how we can reset users password first you need to go to search it's the same process and I'm going to type Lily and click and find now so once you get the users now you can right click on that and click on reset password and give a new password and confirm that password and then click on ok but your users ring you and say hey I love my users account can you please unlock that and you can simply click here click unlock the users account and just click ok so in that way you you'll be able to unlock the users account and then click ok and close that things now let's see how we can create a group so I'm gonna click on my domain and then go on my testing OU at domain users I'm going to right click on my domain users and then click on new and then click groups so now I'm going to give group name which is marketing so here you can see lots of options like domain local if you click on domain local then your group will be accessible by only that local local domain if you click in global one which means your group can be accessible by other domain as well if there is trust established between them so if you click on universal one then your group will it is same as global one but but this universal uh, if you click on universal then your group can be accessible accessible by the other forest as well so in the other side you can see group type two group type security and security and distribution if you select security security based this data being providing <coughs> safety and you can say the state of being free from dangers so if you click on security then uh, it specify the permission to printers and server and file sharing you can say you can say like it provide security from unauthorized user <clears throat> so the, the distribution means the action of sharing something so for, for example if you send an email to the group it will be distributed to the all the member of that group 
but right now I'm gonna click a uh, domain leave it as a default like I'm gonna leave it global and leave it as a security word and then click on OK so in that for in that way I can create my groups and if you have to assign uses on that one you can simply go in that and click on properties and click on members and you can click on add and if I want to add Lily in a marketing group, then I'm going to type Lily and then click on check names. So here I get uh, Lily's and then I can click on OK. And OK. So in that way, you can add users in that groups. So now you can go to Lily and then right click on that one and then click on members of so now you can see lily is a member of domain user and she is also a member of marketing marketing group you can see it here i'm gonna close now so now next things you can go to marketing and go to members and add one more user in it so i'm gonna add Jill on that wall so I'm gonna type Jill at the check tabs and click OK and then apply click on OK so in that way I add Jill and Lily in the marketing group now if you want to remove Jill from that group then you can simply go to Jill and click on members of and then click on the group that you want to remove her from and then click on remove and click yes apply okay so in that way you can remove any users from any groups so now I am gonna go to marketing group again and check if Jill have been removed so you can see Jill is already removed from the marketing groups now let's say if you want to make marketing group the member of any other group you can simply go there double click on that and click on members of and click and so I am going to type administrator because I want to keep marketing group inside the administrator group so now check names and then click OK apply it and then OK now we can go to marketing group and click on members of you can say administrator so marketing team is now the group of administrator one so now let's see if any users or employee is leaving the job uh, or someone is going for the vacation and you need to disable their account or you need to delete their account then how are you gonna do that first you need to search or find the the users that you want to delete or disable so I'm gonna uh, disable jail so if you want to disable jail just click on jails right click on jails and click on disable account but before doing that I'm gonna create a disable container disable users container so I'm going to my testing OU right click on that and then click on new and then click organizational unit and give it a name uh, disable users and always check protect container from accidental deletion and then click OK and then now here is my disable users uh, OU so now what I'm gonna do is go to my domain user and disable jail so what I do I simply drag jail to the disable user OU so now go to disable user now you can find Jill inside the disable users and now what you can do is go to Jill right click on that and click on disable account so in that way you can disable any users account so now you can see the arrow is downward here so now the, uh, the this Jill user has account has been disabled if you want to delete any users you can simply go to that users and right click on that and then click on delete 
click and delete yes so in that way you can delete images or you can simply go to search and then find any images like now I have only one images that's the Mary so go to search and then type Mary find her click on that right click on that and then click on delete so that's it in that way you can delete Mary as well now let's say Jill is back from her holiday and need to enable her account then you need to go to disable images and drag Jill to the domain user click on this and now you go back to domain user you can see Jill is inside the domain user but she is still disabled so you need to right click on that and click on enable account click on ok in that way uh, you can disable and enable the accounts and now I'm going to delete the disable users or you so what you can do is just go to right click and then try to delete it like this but you won't be able to delete it click and delete are you sure you want to delete this click and essay so it say you don't have a sufficient privilege uh, to delete disable users so click and ok and go to a uh, view and click advanced features and go to uh, testing OU and then disable users right click on that go to properties and then And then go to objects and uncheck protect object from accidental deletion apply it click ok and then again right click on that and then now you can delete it so now go to views and turn off these advanced features and go to testing oil now you, you can't be able to see disable user because it's already been deleted so thanks for watching